One of the last remaining hospitals that serves Lower Manhattan is on the verge of closing for good. The demonstrators and elected officials have been rallying to save Mount Sinai Beth Israel before its scheduled shutdown this summer. Briella Tomasetti is outside the hospital with more this morning. Good morning, Briella. Yeah, Curtin Rosanna, good morning to both of you. We've been following this story for quite a bit, and there's been ongoing pushback ever since Mount Sinai made the decision to close this campus in the fall. People who live here are basically upset that there just wasn't more transparency involved in this process. And with the hospital slated to close in less than 16 weeks from now, neighbors and community advocates are pushing the Department of Health to come up with some sort of viable alternative. Fight, fight, fight. Is a human right. Mount Sinai Beth Israel, one of the last hospitals still serving Lower Manhattan, is on track to shut its doors in July. Community advocates, local elected officials, and neighbors are now calling on state intervention to keep the facility operating. Governor Hochul needs to step in. Beth Israel, founded in 1889, is located at First Avenue and 16th Street and provides critical medical care for around 400,000 New Yorkers. If the hospital closes, New York Presbyterian Lower Manhattan will be the only facility serving Manhattan south of 23rd Street. Our city, its most vulnerable residents who are low-income elderly or suffering from an acute illness that can't wait for an hour-long trip uptown, need this hospital and the service it provides. But you can't say that you are in the business of saving lives, but that that cost is too high. Beth Israel first announced plans to close its doors this past fall. Mount Sinai citing on its website a, quote, changing healthcare landscape and financial reality. Hospital officials issued a memo shortly afterwards saying that they would reduce services in the months leading up to the facility's closure. In December, the State Department of Health sent Mount Sinai a cease and desist letter threatening to fine the system $2,000 per day for shuttering those services without approval. But since then, stroke and cardiac services have been discontinued. How dare you just say it's okay without speaking to the people who directly live here? Magda Napoleon and her siblings were born at Beth Israel. Her late father was also treated there for kidney issues. Nostalgia. Welcome, nostalgia. Judy Silver, in the meantime, was a NICU nurse in the facility's old maternity ward before retiring in 2007. Since I've lived here, they've closed St. Vincent's, Cabrini, now this one. The health department previously told Fox 5 that stroke and cardiac services are still on the hospital's operating certificate, but the hospital uh, system, Mount Sinai, allowed those certifications to expire. The system had argued that it could not keep those units adequately staffed. For now, though, we're live here in Gramercy. Curtin Rosanna, back to you. All right. Thanks, Brielle.